Everything that I am doing now is because I went to Italy. I really think it just opens up so many doors and, and just kind of answers so many questions. My two passions are things that really keep you young. And that's one, learning a musical instrument. And even bigger for me is learning another language. That you could start at any age, there's no, and it's a lifetime plan. You never graduate, there's always an opportunity to learn. When I was in Italy, you know, I'd find myself in these incredible landscapes, sitting outside of a fortress that was built by the Medici family on a hill overlooking Tuscany. And it, was, it just made sense for me to paint as much as I could. You have to be a special kind of a student to want to take a risk and go on a program like an exchange program, but it's very rewarding in the end. This program is open to all CUNY students. You could be graduate or undergraduate in all areas of study. We've had different programs on and off, but the ones that we're working with now is the uh, University of Siena, the University of Chieti, University of Foreigners in Perugia, and a new program that'll start in the fall, which is Link Campus University in Rome. I applied, I mean, six months ago to do this, um, I mean, exchange program. And my university home, it's a um, uh, University of Perugia. They manage everything to me in one mouth. It was very, very fast and easy. I would say that exchange programs, well, they're usually for a semester or more. And those are uh, unique because um, CUNY students would pay only CUNY tuition and then any other costs, that's sort of on your own. It was the most affordable thing, you know, students can do. The catch is you have to be proficient in the language because you're going to that school. All the lectures were super interesting. I love art history, so for me it was incredible to be able to study in class and walk out, walk for 10 minutes and look at the building that you just studied. When I start speaking Italian and I talk to the people who sell the fruit and I made friends with, you know, the grocer, you know, they appreciated that I came, you know, I'm an Italian background and, you know, my, that's my origin. Siena was really the smallest place I had ever resided in. You walk by the same people every day and everyone is just, once they get to know you, a lot more friendly. I find that it's really hard to do that in New York because you're, you're never walking by the same person. And ever since then, I always thought, wow, I might actually be good living in a small city. Perugia is a very small city and a very beautiful city. It has a very, very fantastic nature. And here, was, but you can just see the huge building. At the first time, it can give you a very, very scary impression. It's very different from Perugia, but I like to know the new culture, the new culture from another people, from another country. This is my plan, that in two years, I have to speak four languages or five languages in order to work in the United Nations. I think job-wise, I think if any student has something like that on their CV, it's an advantage compared to other people maybe who never had the opportunity. There's a change between being a tourist and being a person that lives in that city. And I think that change is really important and that helped me realize that, you know, there are things outside of New York. Just experiencing something completely different, I think it's worth, you know, going abroad. At CUNY, we have study abroad, exchange, and faculty-led programs in over 90 countries in all sorts of subjects. The countries you can go to are really anywhere in Asia, Europe, South America, and even in Africa. Even if a program is sponsored by one CUNY college, for the most part they're all CUNY-wide in the sense that students from any CUNY college can register into that course. Study abroad is similar to studying at your local campus in that you get academic credit for the coursework that you do. The additional costs are really airfare, accommodations, and food, and usually the tuition is very similar to what you would pay at CUNY. 
students are eligible for federal and local financial aid for study abroad. There are also national scholarships that are funded by the federal government. Um, and we also have a local scholarship at CUNY called Stocks. Students can also look toward their local campus for any scholarships. So there are lots of places where you can look for funding. I think why you should consider the opportunity, even if it is more expensive, is that it really is an opportunity of a lifetime.